Welcome to the Healing Hour. This is Tyson Bannigan, the Illuminator, and I'm with you for the next one hour to answer all your questions that have to do with getting from where you are to where you want to be in the shortest amount of time. Any questions having to do with dowsing or energy healing or what's up on planet Earth. And I just like to uh, say happy spring equinox um, as of this morning at 9.50 a.m. in the Northern Hemisphere Pacific time, we entered into the spring equinox. And I do have to say, I enjoy sitting on my porch now, uh, being, able to being able to overlook the lake in the warm spring summer uh, sun and uh, dream about the summer that's about to come. So uh, welcome to the show and feel free to phone in. It's toll free in uh, North America, one 369 7464 You can also leave your comments on uh, Facebook uh, in the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy Facebook page, and I'll be able to pick them up here. Um, on be live and and also uh, you can also click the link like Janet uh, Charette just did the be live link and join us on the show so I'm just going to bring uh, Janet on board here hi Janet hey Tyson how are you I'm doing fine welcome to the show thank you happy spring yeah, happy uh, equinox. This is it. This is it. Uh, spring, spring solstice. Uh, this is uh, the spring equinox as of 9.15 a.m. our time. Yeah. Pretty neat, eh? Pretty cool. I figured it would be a pretty powerful uh, show today. <laughs> yeah, well, we're What's pretty so special? Powerful. <laughs> we're What's so special? About we just showed up. That's why we're special. Yeah. Oh no, I was saying like like equinoxes and that. What what's what's so special about an equinox? Or uh, is there well, something special? Well, it has to do with the fact that that's the true calendar. Um, the calendar that we're using, the Gregorian calendar, is a calendar that was made for commerce, and it has nothing to do with the natural cycles. And for the last 500 plus years, we've been alienated from nature and our own inner nature. So we're out of sequence with our own natural cycles, our own biorhythms, the, the biorhythms of the stars and the planets and the earth and the moon. And because we're not in sequence, then we really have to struggle because it's like, um, it's like uh, spinning a top or a gyroscope when it's all aligned up. You know, for example, if the floor is flat and you pull the string on a, on a top, it will uh, be stable and spin for a long time. That our tabletop is on is on a tilt, then it will wobble and slide off the table. So it's exactly the same when you're aligned to the the center axis of the galaxy and are in harmony with the cycles. And then the beauty of that is that it takes less energy to show up and to be in your truth because you're lined up. It's like um, you're in harmony all the way up and all the way down. Uh, so does that make sense to you? Yeah, it, it, like th that part does, but like I, I still don't know like why, like it, does that mean we're only like on a flat tabletop four times a year, like at the equinoxes? No, or? no it just like, means that that it's like in a lunar cycle, for example, in a new moon, you have a new beginning, right? You have mm -hmm. a new start for that, for that cycle, and when you manifest according to the lunar cycle, it intensifies the energy, and that's like a the same as a female cycle, you know, the same as, you know, your period, which is what? It's not 28 days, it's 27 point something or other. I can't remember exactly. But, it, you know, it's not even it's not even a month. So our lunar calendar, the, 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 
is even out of sync with our calendar. So in other words, the lunar calendar and our Gargarian calendar don't match. So that's one example. Now, when it comes to the cycle of the sun, which is the most important because we are solar beings, we think we eat food and we get our energy from our food, but in actual fact, we're light eaters. We're eating the light from the plants and from the animals that eat the plants that are uh, that grow from the light. So we're light eaters. So our relationship to the sun, the central sun, which is, by the way is a living entity, is our sustenance, it's our divine light, it's our, our mana, it's our prana from heaven. And when we're aligned to that and we know when to do ceremony and when, when to begin to plant. So for example, this time, uh, in, in the ancient times when you're watching the stars, the standing stones would be aligned so that you would see the sun coming over the horizon exactly at what it said here in our hemisphere here at 915. Uh, I, I actually, it, in the, as it came over the horizon, it would hit a standing stone and it would tell you that we were in, that now we have entered into the spring equinox. And therefore, it would be beginning the, be, the beginning time to plant, for example. Whereas yes. in, the, in the fall, it would be the time to harvest. So knowing these cycles allows us to know the right time for birth, the right time for death, the right time to sow, the right time to reap. You know, it's the right time in which to be in harmony with the cycles of the universe. And when we're in harmony with the cycles of the universe, our, we enter into what we were talking about last time, which is sacred time. We're part of the flow, the ebb and flow. We're part of the Wu way, the effortless effort. We just have to show up. And when we're attuned that way, our life is becomes effortless because we're in the right place at the right time for what you call auto magic to occur yeah, yeah. spontaneously. Yeah. So hopefully that makes sense of why all these cycles are in so important. And on uh, dowsing and energy healing, I, I posted uh, the cycle between Venus and uh, and the Earth. And when you look at that cycle, and it shows you the graphic. It, it actually is it shows you what your heart looks like. It has the structure of the heart. And that's why for the Mayans, uh, understanding the cycle between Venus and Earth was so important to them because it was their gateway back to their original star nation, which was for them the Pleiades. So again, you know, the star cycle and its relationship to the Earth and us to the to that planet like Venus creates sacred geometry that once we attune to it and understand it matches our sacred geometry. So at this particular time, as we start to step out of the matrix, we're stepping out of the false constructions that were created to keep humans in bondage. And the Gregorian calendar was part of that illusion that you needed to get up at a certain time, go to bed at a certain time, you need to show up and work on time you had to be enslaved that if you didn't give your energy to, to whoever was in control, then you weren't allowed to eat. So that was the whole idea of commerce, that unless you were in servitude, you wouldn't have the abundance that the God, that was your God-given right that was given to you by the fact that you were born on the planet. For example, Sasquatches don't have commerce. You know, everything they need is supplied by Mother Earth. Everything they eat, everything they digest, you know, they don't have any clothes, they don't have any commerce, yet they're highly developed psychic beings, far more advanced than we are, and they call us our little brothers. So we can't remember who we are and that we have those magnificent powers like the Sasquatch because we're so caught in the illusion of this cycle that we need to show up and work hard and strive and be on time and follow the clock and work from nine to five and get a job and get married and have a family and buy the best car and then do the right things and then get all of our toys lined up and then we die. And uh, that way we never ever uh, discover our magnificence. We never discover how extraordinary we are. So that's why understanding these cycles is, is so important. It frees us up. It connects us into the divinity of all of the cycles which, for example, is the flower of life. 
So when you align yourself to the flower of life, which is, which is your birth pattern, in fact, which is the pattern throughout the multiverse, and you align everything to that, then all the falsehood, all the illusion starts to fall away, and holes begin to be created in the matrix because the truth is revealed. And when then we discover that the emperor has no clothes, and Mr. Trump stands naked in front of us for who he truly is and everybody else who is part of the Illuminati or, or whatever control mechanism that's out, you know, go, out, go, going on on the planet. It all stands revealed because the dominant, the dominant energy uh, will surpass that and, and allow the truth to shine through. So again, that's all part of us rediscovering our true nature, our inner nature, our alignment with Mother Earth and with the stars and with the planets and with the natural cycles. That's the way we become sovereign human beings. So that was a lot of words. Hopefully it made sense. Yeah, it's cool. But like, is there a special reason that uh, ceremony is so special at those times of alignment, though, or like? Yeah, because it's the first, it's really the coming of spring. And I don't about, know about you, but this has been a long, long winter. And, you know, uh, to be able to sit on my porch and have lunch again for the second time this year and feel the sun on my face, you know, just gives me, because I'm a being of light, it gives me so much inspiration and and so much cosmic energy to um, step into the truth of who I am, you know, to wrestle with whatever dragons are in my life because I feel I'm part of the, of the rising energy of light in the northern hemisphere. My, I'm coming out of the shadows. I'm coming out of the bears coming out of the den, right? Waking up right. in the spring, it's coming alive. And the whole kingdom, uh, the animal kingdom is waking up in the plant kingdom. And I'm part of that awakening. And so I have this inspiration, this joy, the spring flowers and the coming of the resurrection of Easter and the rebirth, you know, it, it's a part of just um, being in joy being joyful i see that uh, yeah that's christy warnick hey christy you can phone in and say hello if you want it's one eight six six three six nine seven four six four or just click the link and join us live uh and um and join us on the call so uh christy welcome to the show click the link that says be live on it and join us and ask your questions or type them in here or phone us toll free and it's one 369 7464 and I'll just put that up right now. So um welcome. So Christy has really been very helpful. We're creating shows and uh, she's been introducing me to her network and I got to meet with um, coach Nick this morning and we had a an amazing discussion uh, as we realized just what we have in, in common so uh, Christy if you're listening to the show and can hear me thank you ever so much for hooking me into your network I really feel like I'm part of a bigger family uh, through uh, your network and so I thank you very much and I'm looking forward to future connections and being on your show and uh, Catherine Mahaj Mahaj I think that's how you say it. the Sun has amazing energy yes it definitely does and you know if you are a, you know a Sun gazer early in the early morning you can really it's the first step to becoming a breatharian is really learning how to ingest and feed from the sun. And so, yes, it's extremely powerful to take that sun bath in the, in the early morning light or in the evening light and to be able to look into the sun and do sun gazing. And in the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy is an actual video, and I can't remember the gentleman's name who talks about what it is to um, to be a sun gazer and the energy that one uh, derives from uh, doing that, uh, looking into the sun and driving one's sustenance from the sun. And, you know, and as we move along, you know, a vegetarian is just a step in that direction, you know, and then we become sun gazers and we, then we become, 
you know, breatharians where we literally uh, breathe in the prana and live on the prana and the waters of life. So it's part of our evolutionary consciousness. And I've heard even as uh, we move along, actually uh, dogs and cats will become vegetarian by choice as well. So it's like the whole animal kingdom can shift along this continuum. And so we stop devouring uh, other species in order to gain and maintain our sustenance. So yes, the sun has amazing uh, energy and thank you for saying that. So uh, feel free uh, to phone in. I think I had uh, the number up there for a moment. I'm not sure whether I did or not. So it's one, eight, what is it? One, <laughs> eight, six, nine, sorry, one, I'm losing my mind here. So you can phone in uh, 250 803-2480 is the cell phone. And the toll-free number, which brings me to the cell phone, is 1-866-369-7464. So that's the, the number you can call in and be on the show, or you can click the Be Live link and join us live on the show, and we'd love to do that and have a conversation with you. So lots is happening in the Dowsing and Energy Healing Facebook group. The, the tribe has been growing exponentially. We're now at 2,647 members and growing. Thank you all for showing up and asking all those great questions. Thank you for learning how to clear yourselves and take back your personal power and, and stand in your truth and become sovereign. I think it's really important on this time on the planet to learn how to become a sovereign human being because the more you can show up and be yourself, uh, the more that you can let go of what uh, the matrix thinks you should be doing with your life. And the more that you do that, the more you encourage other people to do the same and show up. And then magic starts to happen. We'll be living in a much more benevolent and peaceful world. So um, thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing the deep clearing. Thank you for learning how to clear your family, your loved ones. Thank you for taking the time to clear the schools, the hospitals, the churches, the courthouses, the prisons, the graveyards, and all those places around you, all the places where war has occurred. Um, so that's what master dowsers do. They clear wherever they go. So this is a call from Birmingham. Hello. Welcome to the show. Who are we talking to? Hi, Christy. Welcome to the show. Hi. I was just checking in with you. People seem to really be interested in the subject that you talked about on, um, when I interviewed you about being in your power. And, and uh, so that's definitely something you might want to follow up on with people. Yeah, being in your power is the key to uh, not only personal but planetary transformation. So... You know, it's the beginning. It's the really the what I'm talking about. Another way of describing it is um, we just listened, Jen and I just listened to, I think it was, it's Finding, what was the show, Jen? It was uh, Finding. Finding what Joe. What was the show that we watched? Finding it Joe. Was finding and, Joe, yeah. And it was all but, about, you know, um, your passion, finding your passion and you know the hero's journey and so that's another way of describing it that we're all on the hero's journey and when we um stand in our truth and becomes and don't try and fit in anymore and we follow our bliss then we're on a journey of discovery and we get to discover why we're here and what gifts we have to present to the world and we get to face our dragons which are our own inner dark parts of our soul and to um, get the treasure that is buried there by confronting our own fears. So it's an eternal story. It's, you know, in every culture, every tradition, every religion, every path, every movie, every book that's written is a hero's journey. And so really, you know, becoming a sovereign human being is learning how to, how to undertake a, your own hero's journey. And what people I feel, um, if you wanted to do 
you appearing on your show today, what I'm getting is so many people are, I don't want to use the word complaining, but they're, they're you know, saying uh, what symptoms they're having, what, you know, challenges, difficulties they're having with the different energies and things. So a lot of that goes back to beliefs and programming um, based on what they've heard, based on, you know, what other people say. And even based on their own experience, but uh, a lot of that is beliefs and programming. So I didn't know if uh, that would be helpful for your group, for your call tonight, would be a, a clearing for that. For them. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it goes back to what Janet and I were talking about at the beginning of the show was, you know, why is it important to to honor the, you know, the, the equinox, the spring equinox or the fall equinox, or why is it important to understand the cycles of nature and, and that has to do uh, with this, the same aspect of of liberating your yourself from the matrix so that you are aligned with natural cycles. And that's what the clearing is all about. Because like yeah. you said, we're so busy trying to conform to, to make the money, to fit in, to get the toys or whatever we think is important because of the program we received from the advertising or the way that we were raised or the way we went to school, that we forget who we are. So I know Christy, yours is just as good at this as I am. So I know that you love to do this as well. So, you know, seeing as you brought it up, how about you doing a little clearing around this? Okay, well, the, everyone is different. So all of their beliefs and programming are going to be different. And sometimes they, for some people, they may need to know what that is before it'll clear but overall you would just ask for anything to come up whether it be beliefs or programming thought forms thought patterns or anything else like that um anything even created if created or manifested that may be causing creating or contributing to any type of symptoms reactions or responses that would be from any type of energetic changes going on with the earth or going on with the um, like what you would mention planetary stuff just any kind of uh, the equinox you've got all kinds of uh, energetic shifts going on right now so any type of those energetic changes because they can be harmonious that you can be in harmony with them and so um, first of all, you know, not looking at them as a bad thing necessarily. And so, and just having them work with you instead of against you. So basically anything causing, creating, or contributing to those, those symptoms, those, uh, reactions, those responses, whatever they will, you know, whatever they are for you that you consider to be less than comfortable or pleasant or pleasurable for you. Great. So you can just ask that any of those things be uncreated, canceled, dissolved, removed, resolved, healed, or corrected at this time. And so you can actually uh, do your pendulum and, and, and do a clearing around that and ask that all of those be cleared out. So I think and that's any, great. So let, let me use some, yeah. some of the words that I use, and, and then you can add to that as well because you're you're absolutely doing it correctly. So... One of the ways you can do this is say I and then state your name. And uh, this is using Amy Jo Ellis's work, which is stating yeah. your name three times. Or, or if you're aligned with your name, if you've doused your name and you're 100% aligned with it, you can just say in my holy name because now you're aligned with your name. And that's your that's sort of like ringing the doorbell to the universe by saying in my holy name. So I, Tyson Bannigan, in my holy name. Uh, I'm now informing the universe, you know, undertake this clearing. And then you can say on behalf of everybody on this call to ensure that all beings listening to this uh, now and in the future uh, receive the understanding that they can be in perfect alignment with every cycle of nature from the Earth energies being uh, rising, so the heartbeat of Mother Earth, the the solar energies, all the energy flares that are underway, all the alignments of the planets and the equinoxes and all of the eclipses 
and energy influxes that we're having from the central sun because we turned this corner in the next 26,000 year cycle of more light coming. And so you have that, if you allow that alignment to occur by saying, you know, I remove all non-beneficial energies, core beliefs, uh, our erroneous beliefs that disallow me from being aligned to all these energies, and I stand willing and able to receive those energies for the evolution of my consciousness and the consciousness of the planet, then you could say, and I undertake this clearing with the help and assistance of my light team or divine mother or source energy or creator God or however you want to define that higher essence or my higher self. And I undertake this through the multi-dimensional levels of my being and throughout all time and space, no, uh, both known or unknown. And then I like to do the Honopono prayer because really all this shows up for my own learning. So I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. And then I like to declare it so. So I say, I declare it so, so be it. It is done. And I, I, Moses is one of my favorite dudes or maybe even Gandalf. And they always have a wand or a staff. So I like to imagine that I have this wand or the staff and I go, boom, boom, boom with my staff on the ground, which is really uh, telling the earth kingdom and all the elemental kingdoms that I'm present and I have the divine right to declare it so. And guess what? When you do that, uh, it, it, it comes to be, it manifests. So thank you for that. Um, it truly uh, does allow us to be able to ingest all this energy like in light energy from all of the different levels of reality for our own evolution of consciousness and consciousness on the planet. So, Chrissy, that was a good one. Thank you. You're welcome, and I look forward to being with you on and connecting with you on Friday. Yeah, so you're going to be on and, the wellness show and, on and health, and wealth. Spiritual gifts. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that interview as well. So, yes, everybody, don't forget to tune in on Friday. Or what time is it? Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, that's 4 p.m. Central time, and 5 p.m. Eastern time. Right, so come and join us and um, and have a conversation with us. Uh, we can set it up that you can actually phone in if you'd like, like this show, and have a discussion with you. Is that all right with you, Christy? That's fine, because I, I've got some downloads and some, some clearings ready, and, and some accelerator images I'm going to be sending out uh, energies for uh, to help enhance spiritual gifts. Great. So we'll make it a live show and that you can phone into the show or join us through Be Live TV by clicking the link or asking your questions through Facebook Live. So, Christy, thanks for showing up on the show. Any other questions? You're welcome. That was all. That was just what I've been you know, noticing this past week, and, and I've changed that for myself, my program. I've reprogrammed myself so that I work with the energies instead of them working against me. So I've been, I've done so much work around that and reprogrammed everything to do with that. So, um, so yeah, you can ask for any part of you, your mind, body, soul, and spirit, and all of your bodies um, to be, you know, to for everything to be corrected to do with energet energetics or, you know, energy, basically. Because uh, some of them, some parts of you may not completely resonate with certain energies uh, being here on this planet and, and, like you said, sovereign in your body. And so it's, it's about getting things, like I said, in harmony with, with the energies. And so that's uh, another thing uh, to do with Amy Jo Ellis, just putting all that into a full court of atonement, is every part of you being ready, willing, and able, and open to, and okay with, and accepting of the different energetic shifts and things like that. Yes, and, and, and especially in this theme of change and transformation where, the solar energies and the galactic energies from, uh, you know, from the heart of Mother Earth and even the galactic centers from the center of creation, according to the, you know, the Mayans, is really um, flooding into us now and asking us to upgrade our DNA as we move from 
being carbon based to being a light based. Uh, so the beauty of this is that we can uh, flow with more ease and grace when we allow all these energies to literally become part of us and then there's less struggle. Yeah, it's, it's about being in harmony with them instead of like fighting against them basically or, or even not recognizing uh, recognition comes up a good bit with with recognizing the energies for what they truly are versus not knowing what they are. So I, I work with recognition as well. Right. All right. Thank you for showing up on the show. Okay. We look forward to the interview. Thank and thank you for introducing yeah. me to your tribe. Um, lots of connections have been made in oh, the last yeah. 24 hours. So. Yeah, you'll have to come back. So we're happy to have you. All right. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. That was Christy Warnick, and we'll be doing an interview with her um, on Be Live TV. And uh, looking forward to that. So we're, the, the toll-free number is now available, one 369 7464 And it's on the screen um, as you right now. And uh, thank you, um, Karanath uh, Maharaj, for showing up. And you don't forget, you can uh, type in your comments if you're not available to phone in toll free. If you're not in North America, you can always type in any questions here. So I'm just going to head over to the Dowsing and Energy Healing Closed uh, Facebook group. And um, Karen here has asked, she's a brand new member, and her last name is Skella, S K E H E L. And she says, I'm using bowsy, uh, body dowsing starting at the beginning. Sometimes, like today, I have no response when asking for my yes and no response. I am saying, angels and guardians, please give me my yes response. Does this mean that today is not the day to do any of this? Or is there a way of encouraging, inviting the higher realms to engage with me and respond? It has been suggested that I start by asking very simple questions like it is it best for me now to have a cup of tea or email, etc. Thanks for your ideas. Yeah, well, Karen, great question. Um, one of the things that uh, I know Janet has discovered, and Janet, maybe you want to discover about why you, why for you body dowsing was uh, uh, very difficult for you in the beginning. You want to talk about that? Just a minute. I got you on mute. So I'll unmute you so you can speak up, Lassie. There you are. Whoops. Come on here. That's great. It was a great segue because I was gonna I was gonna tell a little bit about how I've been coping with the energies and it it uh, it has to do a little bit with what your question is. Like when I first started Bowsy or uh, little Bob no wonder I'm mute. <laughs> unmute. When I first started um using muscle testing and dowsing, okay, I was so out of my body that, like, I was, I was, I was getting answers, but they, like, I, it took me uh, maybe about a year or two to understand that I needed to get into my body and be in my heart, and then when I would do my muscle testing, I would be getting a true, uh, a true, um, like the a true answer for my body or and so and yet when I first started I was like so adamant I was like testing and like I and and people were telling me my my answers must be wonky and, and the, there was no way I would believe that they were wonky because they seemed so so you know so but it but it was just because I uh I, I I was asking the question of maybe like half of my body or whatever. So once I got grounded, once I got grounded and into my heart, I I, I was able to to do the the testing and it it was more true. And what what I was uh, gonna say before was that how I've been handling the intense energies is actually using it to. Like you know how they say the the brighter the shadow or the darker the shadow, the brighter the light. So there's yeah. way more light right now. So so there, there's there's been stored emotions and toxic emotions and just tensions in my body. And if if I can just use the breath and like the the breath is what gets me back into my 
heart and just use the breath and just use these great energies to to really just be able to get rid of some of the solid stuff like that it's it's not so sticky anymore and, and it's a good time to really dissolve some of the stuff that's been you don't even have to look at what it is just just kind of just use the energy to clear clear the body so so it's really important yeah. when you're so doing the, the dowsing to be in your heart yeah yes that, that's all in the was. breath the heart mouth yeah. the heart mouth is really a, a good way to um you know just um google heart mouth and there it will explain the breathing techniques to help you uh discover what it feels like to be residing in your heart and when you're in your heart uh you're out of your head and you're actually in your body and then you can receive accurate um uh accurate guidance i also will post to the dowsing energy healing Codes facebook group there is a very good uh, series um, on the Academy uh, website of four ways in which you can ensure accuracy in your body dowsing or, 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 or in your muscle testing or, you know, part of it is hydration and other things that you need to check as well. So this is a great question. The most important thing is when I teach dowsing is that when you do learn what is your yes and what is your no to be really clear that uh, you also use the statement of when I douse or when I muscle test or when I do my body sway, I only want the high, the answer from my higher self connected to source. You don't want the answer from any other level. Now, the only way that you may want it from your body is if you're doing vitamins or things like that for your body health. Then you would say then, you know, uh, you'd be talking to your body and saying, muscle testing your body, uh, which was what a, nat a naturopath would do. You know, a naturopath would put a vitamin in your hand, you know, a bottle of vitamins, and then test whether you're positive or negative uh, by asking you to hold. So that's talking to your body. So sometimes you do want to talk to your body, but when it comes to guidance or directions or asking, you know, questions that have to do with your spiritual evolution, you want to be talking to your higher self. So... It's important to be in your heart, like Janet says, and ask your questions from there. So, um, Krenath, I think that's how you pronounce your name. He says, I'm a Reiki master uh, based in South Africa. And he's saying it's best to work with a flow of energy. Yes, absolutely. When you work with a flow of energy, your life is full of ease and grace, and it flows much easier. And for that, we can be truly grateful. Um, I'm all for that divine flow. And uh, on that topic, there's a great interview uh, that we had in the big picture show revealed around synchronicity and uh, astrology. So I really encourage you to listen to that show. I think it's show number four or show number five. And it talks about how does synchronicity, what is that, how does it come about and uh, part of the realization is synchronicity is always in our life. But when we're stressed out or we're in our head or we're freaked out and not in our bodies, we miss the synchronicity that is available in every moment. So when we still our mind and enter our heart, then we can see the synchronicity show up. And that when we follow one synchronistic event, the next one shows up and it's like stepping stones. It just provides the next step and the next step, and your life starts to flow with ease and grace. And it's a better way, I think, to um, to learn and grow. <coughs> excuse me, than through pain and suffering. Yeah. So we're still standing by, and we're still available for you to phone in if you'd like. It's one eight six six three six nine seven four six four. I've got a little tickle in my throat. So I'm going to go back over while we're waiting for somebody to uh, phone in. What, what, were you going to say something, Jenna? Oh, it was just something about synchronicity and being in your heart and in your higher, like using your higher self. Like you can even use that for business marketing. Like, I've been having a hard time uh, deciding like how to advertise for my classes and 
today something just happened spontaneously and it was like just a, a heart a heart decision and then all of a sudden the class opened up for me and and it's like and it's sort of like what you said about planting the seeds at the beginning of the of the of the of the show today like sometimes yeah. It's not just the right time, and then all of a sudden, like your heart opens, and boom, the time's right, and the the people and everything's there. The seeds are in fertile ground, ready to be received. It's it's totally it, it sync. It's like you said, synchronicity is always there. It's just for us to to get grounded and to be aware of it, so that we can catch the the little slight signals or whatever no. so that no. I just thought it was I give you a segue while you were drinking water <laughs> yeah little nudges from the universe yeah so I'm, I'm just going over to the to the personal clearing Tuesday and it says what do you want to have help with to clear or let go of today this could be trauma unresolved emotions family of origin past lives matriarchal patriarchal lineage inner child and of course soul family and, you know, the important thing about when I do ask, so if you'd like some help, is really uh, the better way of saying this is, how would you like to learn how to do this for yourself? And while I can certainly help you do that, I, I, my really is my goal is to teach everybody in the, the group to be able to clear this themselves. And also, when they see a clearing request from somebody else, to step in and help that person clear. So... Um, Annie Papin Taylor says, all of the above, please. Yeah, she doesn't want to miss out, so that's a good one. And C. John <laughs> says that I shouldn't have money. Yeah, so the money is a big one. And Sandra L. Brown says she wants to clear health issues. And Helen Decker, Sar says she wants to deal with self-forgiveness. Thank you. And Jennifer Sash Ringard says, I need to get rid of chronic headaches. Yeah, though the chronic headaches, I think part of that is really the energetics of the time that we're in. That part of it could be. Let me just douse for that for you, uh, Jennifer. So how much of this is, is that this due to the planetary evolutionary process? Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, so Jennifer, if you're listening to this, or, and I'll make a note in, in dowsing uh, and Energy Healing Close Facebook group. The, if you do the clearing we just did or the alignment with all the natural cycles, that that will help with your chronic headaches. They will, you'll be able to ingest the energy and, and feed on it for your own soul growth. And it, it won't uh, show up as a chronic headache, which is blocked energy. So Sarah Hook says, health issues with my immune and nervous system. Yes, Sarah Hook, if you're listening to this call now or in the future, there's a whole protocol around uh, working with your immune system. Uh, I think, I can't remember which one of the, uh, the actual ones we were working with, but you can do it with any one of the endocrine systems, any one of your emotions, you can regulate that. And so to bring it to balance and that will help you uh, deal with uh, regulating your immune and nervous system and calming it down. And uh, Trinity Sullivan says, release any blocks to my intuition and abilities. Yes, yeah, so you can, again, do a short clearing in which you would ask that that be so. Uh, Nita Cameron says, EBV. I don't know what that EBV is, but she's saying neurological and adrenal fatigue. So, again, um, that short clearing that I've created for the endocrine system, uh, please use that to balance out your... Uh, um, your biochemistry, uh, both within your brain and in your body. So you're in charge of that. And the beauty of that is you can actually talk to your body, which I call the elemental eye, which is really the gateway to your subconscious. And uh, your elemental eye, you know, regulates your heartbeat, it, re it regulates your breathing. Thank God it does all those things because in my experience when uh, – and I won't go into the story, I had to do all that on my own. Like I, I literally had to remember how to breathe and how to beat my heart because I had toxics uh, uh, from a scorpion in my body. And so I had to take over uh, running those energies 
uh, on those commands or I wasn't going to make it. And let me tell you, it's a scary place to be because I think death for most people or lots of people is they forget how to breathe. And especially if it's a snake venom or a scorpion, you are really dealing with a toxic energy. So when so the the point I'm making is that this elemental eye knows how to do all that and how to rub the subconscious. So the one of the values of what your conscious mind is making a statement or asking or directing the elemental eye to run the program for you 24 7. And if you're using a short form or even the longer form of the deep clearing, what you're doing is you're programming your subconscious uh, so that it will run the program automatically 24 7, 365. Now, once you've done that and you understand how that you can talk to your elemental eye, you can shorten that down so that you literally are directing. So the statement would go something like this. Um, so let's do this one for um, neurological and adrenal fatigue. So it would be, uh, I, Tyson Banding into my holy name, on behalf of Anita Cameron, uh, ask that her elemental eye direct her subconsciousness to regulate all the neurological and adrenal uh, systems, all our endocrine systems, and balance them out for the highest and best, for the most benevolent outcome in her life, and for all of um, all of uh, the health that she so desires. And I ask that this uh, clearing be undertaken through the multidimensional levels of reality and throughout all time, space, and dimensions, both known or unknown. And then, like I say, I like to do the Honopono prayer because all this is for us to learn. So the fact that, that uh, for Anita this is not working for her means she's not in her body or she's only partly in her body or she has some part of herself that's disassociated and she's not talking to her body or listening to her body and the body saying, please love me, please pay attention to me. And when you do pay attention to it by working with your elemental eye, the body can relax, it can let go, it can re-nourish itself, it can come back to re restoration, health and balance and restore itself. And so it would be, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and th thank you and then I declare it so so be it, it is done. So that would be the intention clearing statement that you could use for any desire to balance anything, whether it's the immune system, the nervous system, the adrenals, or any of the biochemistry in the brain, or in the mind, or in the body, or even um, you know the the lymphatic system. Any one of the systems you can bring perfect balance by using that short clearing. And also you can then use it to uh, uh, clear any blockages that lead to chronic headaches, you know, pain, any pain or suffering or any blocked energy that, you know, can lead to misalignment of the skeletal or muscular framework in the body. So, and also uh, Michelle Pinto talks about weight issues, same thing. Your body is, um, you know, the weight issues, and I, I'm still working with that with myself, means that there's un, unresolved, unprocessed emotional trauma, core fractures or unresolved emotions in your body that you haven't processed or had the ability to process. Call it the shadow work or call it the inner dragon that you haven't faced. And when you work with me or work with others to be able to uh, deal with that darker part of yourself and realize that that's where the treasure is. That's where the buried gift is. That when you step into that truth and face it, then all of a sudden you start to shed the weight. It comes off spontaneously. So again, the short clearing can be used to to deal with weight issues. And for Linda Drybross, she says, shingles, family of origin issues, patriarchal, matriarchal, ancestral issues, same thing. So it would go for Linda. It would be I, Tyson Bannigan, in my holy name, on behalf of Linda uh, Jaibus and anybody else listening to this call, I undertake this clearing uh, on behalf of everybody uh, to remove uh, any uh, non beneficial energies that arise from family of origin, issues from patri patriarchal or matriarchal lineage, or from my soul family. Uh, from any unresolved core fractures, 
toxic emotion or resolved emotions in this lifetime or any past lifetime and our undertake this clearing through the multi-dimensional levels of reality and throughout all time space and dimensions both known or unknown and i do the honopono prayer i love you i'm sorry please forgive me and thank you and i declare it so so be it is done and you do this all by spinning your pendulum counterclockwise and don't forget once you've done the clearing you can install what it is you do want so uh, a way to install would be spinning your pendulum clockwise i install that i'm in the right place at the right time that my elemental i know how to regulate all of my systems my bodily systems for perfect, vibrant, uh, energetic health, that I'm always in the right place at the right time. I'm always loved by Creator, always have been, and always be it will be. That I uh, can listen to the synchronicity that shows up in my life, and that my life flows with ease and grace. And I'm truly grateful for that. And I declare it so. So be it. It is done. So that's a great way to install what it is that you do want in your life. So there you are. That's all the request uh, for. The personal clearing Tuesday. Thank you, everybody, for asking those questions so that we can clear it not only for you and for everybody else. And and please take the time to go over to the file section in the Dowsing Energy Healing. You'll find the short clearing there. Download it, and you'll see that there's open brackets. Fill in the open brackets what it is you want to clear. Close the brackets. Read out it uh, what it is um, the text. Uh, adjust it in any way that you want. And uh, finish off the statement. And then, like I said, once you finish clearing, please install what you do want. So clear what you don't want, install what you do want. Breathe in, breathe out. Same thing. Okay? Right. So there we are. That was the Tuesday. I'm going to just uh, come back and say, you know, we're still standing by. We have another about 10 minutes to go. Uh, we'd love for you to phone in if you have any questions. It's one 369 Seven four six four, and um, thank you so far for everybody showing up and asking the questions. So um, feel free to chime in if you're having something you'd like to say at this time, Janet. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to the Dowsing and Energy Healing Codes Facebook group and continue on. Well, I've got a really tough one if you want to take it. <laughs> it's sure. it's about. Uh, it's about the people are, that uh, use uh, the equinox and uh, different times of the year to do the dark magic. And is there any clearing we can do to help any of the children or anybody that's been uh, taken, like, to be a sacrifice or something during this time? Is there anything we can do for clearing for that? Thank you. And in and, and actual fact, you know, that's one of the reasons uh, behind the creating the Dowsing and Energy Healing Coast Facebook group is that when we learn to do a ceremony, when we learn, uh, when we show up for the solstice and the equinoxes, when we show up for the eclipses and the full moon and the new moon, and when we do our intention statements and we do it, for the benevolent to release of all beings that are in bondage from any and all sources, we are using the same energy that has been used to enslave us. And so all of that energetics of all the planetary alignments, of all the solar eclipses, equinoxes, uh, all those alignments are used as a control mechanism to feed on our prey on human energy which is to keep us in bondage. Now, when we flip that on its head, and we do all of that, not as a warrior, not as a, a light warrior, although you could see yourself as that, but I don't like to step into a war zone. In other words, I don't mm -hmm. do anything that in my life that I feel I have to duck the, re the returning mm -hmm. energy. So the way that I would work with the, that energy is that I would declare it uh, as something like this. Um, I, Tyson Bannigan, in my holy name and with the divine power invested in me and with source consciousness and the sister divine mother and all the creator gods who are of the light, I ask for assistance to declare in my holy name that all beings who do not abide by the law, one which is do no harm, must, must withdraw from the planet now 
and stand in the light of who they be, or they must return from whence they came, because the time is now upon the face of the earth where the truth shall be revealed, and the dark shall dissolve into the light. And so it be, and so all beings that come into the energetic, so any other being that is on the path of service, of uh, the law of one which is do no harm, that any being that encroaches into that energy field will be transformed into pure divine light. So if you choose to go to the light, then step into the light, into the aura of a light being, and you will be transformed. You will not no longer be allowed to ingest, digest, manipulate, control, or otherwise feed off the energy of human beings. In my on my holy name and with the system of Archangel Michael and the heavenly hosts, I hereby declare in my holy name, and I declare it so, so be it, chill, and it is done. So there you are. So, um, and what that is really saying is to all beings of the Lord, so light, we understand we're on the checkerboard of light and dark. We understand that you are our primary teachers. We understand the role that you played. But now we all need to stand in our own light. We now need to dismantle and have the divine right to dismantle the grid that controls us. And we have the right to be sovereign human beings and to stand in our truth and, and return to the intergalactic council of light. And this is our evolution, this is our soul path, this is our divine right. And we have the ability to declare it so and so it must be. And all the lords of light, we appreciate uh, all the teachings and that you are our greatest guides and that you brought us to the light and you forced us to stand on your truth. But you must stand down now. You have no choice. And you must clean up your karma. You must clean up all of the evolutionary uh, incantations and interruptions you made into the human race. So if you are an alien species, if you are part of the reptilian negative force that controls human beings and devour their energy and even created genetic hybrids, you are responsible for cleaning up all that act. Because as this earth goes through transmission and transmutation into the higher vibrational frequency, you will be left behind. All the portals will be closed and you will be on a lower vibration. So I welcome you with open arms to step into the light and remember who you are. And remember that you chose to be a dark lord in order to serve. And now that you serve, it's your turn and your chance to step back into the light. And I declare it so in my holy name, so be it, it is done. So thank you, Janet, for bringing that up. Uh, this is the time in which we need to become sovereign human beings and and know that we have the divine right to to be lords of light and to step into it. There's been others that have done it before us, and collectively we need to do it. And the more people that interlock arm to arm and do it, this is not a war. This is declaring the truth of who we are. This is dissolving the matrix and stepping into the truth. And um, if you need to think that you're a lawyer, a lawyer, a warrior of light, then think about it. But for me, my sword and my shield is hung up. I'm not doing this as a warrior. I'm doing it as a compassionate human being. Yeah, that, that's what I did too yesterday. Like the whole thing about the 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 Alistair Crawley portal and that. When it was time to do something with it, I just just showered it with love and light and sunshine and lollipops and just beautiful stuff and anybody who wants to come through is welcome but there's only going to be awesomeness and beauty in my world so yeah and that's the way to do it is, uh, it's, yeah because lo love the dominant energy of love will always trump any other energy so, you know, as the Beatles said, yeah, all yeah. we need is love. All we need is love. Yeah, yeah. And it's absolutely true. And then like, like Mother Teresa said, I, I, won't do a, I won't do an anti-war protest, but I'll, you know, I'll do a peace rally any day. It, it, it's just, right. it's a higher frequency that, like, it just, if we just think that way, that's all there is. The, just, it, right. the other frequencies just can't reach us. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's no more war. Yeah. There's nothing to fight against. Because the dominant yeah. energy always wins, good or bad or ugly. So yeah. why not be the dominant energy for the most benevolent outcome for all of humanity? 
Yeah, and as sovereign beings, we can do that. We can choose that. So. That's a, that's, we can declare that. We can declare it yeah. so. It's our, it's our divine right. It's our, it's our heritage. It's our responsibility as light beings to declare it so. And so it will be. So we're at the top of the hour. Uh, thank you, Janet, for showing up and asking these really great questions and getting me to get on my soapbox and rock and roll and declare it the way it is. I appreciate that. Thank you for showing up and playing in my sandbox. And uh, thank no, you uh, everybody for, uh, for showing up and answering the questions. Uh, please post uh, in the Dowsian Energy Healing Coast Facebook group and ask us all the tough questions so that we can answer them on the show. And don't forget that the upcoming show with Christy Warnick is about to come uh, up this week. Uh, join us for that show. And don't forget that uh, once a week, every Thursday, at 1 p.m., I think, and then 4 p 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern is the Big Picture Show Revealed. And I think this show, if I remember correctly, is going to be, I can't remember. I know the last one was on reincarnation and astrology, which was really, really powerful. Yes, and this show is on, is on astrology and um what do you not miss what are, are oh it's astrology and archetypes so it's going to be a great show what's the role between the archetypes which is of course what we just were talking about which is the the journey you know which is uh, the journey around the sun or the journey uh, uh uh the hero's journey so what are these archetypes that keep showing up in all the legends and all the stories and all the myths and all the religions in all the books and in all the movies so come and learn about that and join us and it's going to be a phone in show so you can phone in and ask tough questions and so until then uh uh thank you for showing up and blessings to everybody uh and be healthy wealthy and wise and until next week have your best week ever so bye for now the Healing Hour. Join us every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to phone in uh, toll-free in North America 1-866-369-7464 or 1-866-Dowsing. Phone in to get your questions about dowsing and energy healing answered and also to receive an energy healing. The Healing Hour is produced on uh, Facebook Live through the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy Facebook page. It's also produced by The Wellness Show, www.thewellnessshow.ca. And so until next week, stay healthy, wealthy, and wise.